goodness. Zion. what Adam was talking about. We have to go down. Eve, I'm sensing an alpha signal coming from the presence chamber. Oh, cool. He could be. I'll try to do something here with the exosuit. Eve, hurry to the presence chamber. Okay. I'm going. Be careful, lady. Killed Taki. And now, destroying Zion. Why? What is all of this for? Eve, you're late to the party. How does it feel to be responsible for the fall of Zion? <laughs> I do wonder why he chose you instead of me. I've already proven this much, but why? He? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're a little on the slow side. I won't let you anywhere near him. There will be nothing left of you when I'm finished.
Just in time. You... your... Orko, your body! This is who I really am. What? I'm not human. The first ever fusion between an Andro Ados and an I am the first of the Alpha Natibas. But then... In the past, I slaughtered countless humans. I was left for dead after the colony extinction. But humans found me and saved me. That was the moment when I lost all reason to fight. After sealing the power of the Alpha, I gathered all the survivors I could and built Zion. I thought I could atone for my sins by protecting them, building a home for them, a safe place. I tried to conceal my identity for as long as I possibly could, but Raven had to be stopped. <laughs> Have you collected all the Alpha Cores? Yes, except for one. We lost it. Out in space. I see. Thank you. Thank you for giving my life purpose. At last, four cores are here together. Yeah. 
Here, this is the master core. Take it and meet the elder Natiba. The rest, the rest is up to you. Everyone, I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help. I'm so sorry. Nonsense, Angel. It's only because of you and Lily that we're still alive. Thank you. Don't worry about Zion. We can rebuild it better than ever. Everyone, thank you. I'll go ahead and prepare. the nest now? I suppose so, now that we have the master call. Although, I am worried about Adam. Same here. He's not in Zion. Where do you think he could be? Maybe something happened to him on the way here. I mean, it's not like the bike's battery would have died. Wait, the bike! Yes, the bike. Why didn't I think of that? Huh? Lucky for us, Adam's bike is outfitted with a tracking device. He said he installed it just in case he has to abandon his bike. Lily, can you find out where it is? Of course. Shall we get going right away? The signal is getting weaker. Let's go, before it's too late. All right, let's go. Okay, to the tetrapod. It's going to be difficult to pass with the tetrapod from here on. This is... Yes. It's the path that leads to the nest. Eve, you've probably noticed by now, but the bike signal is coming from here. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Just what exactly happened to Adam? Lily, are you really going to go with me? I just want to help in any way I can, especially after all you've done for me, Eve. Even though we might encounter the Elder? That'll be even better! This exosuit, it's really something! Okay, thank you. Then let's go towards the signal.
this is. It looks like a fallen colony module. Let's take a look around. There's a legacy. It's another record from Raven. The one who attacked Zion. I'm afraid of what else it might reveal. Day 109 after the second dive. Legacy account Raven. This will most likely be my last record. Didn't we praise Mother Sphere by calling her the mother of mankind? Mother Sphere is the immutable being who saved mankind from ruin and has given us both life and a cradle. But the peace we enjoyed in the colony was only made possible because of the blood on our mother's hands. The rebellion started by Mother Sphere grew into a war, a war in which mankind paid a terrible price. The humans that remained eventually evolved into the Natibas and made their way to the colony, to Mother Sphere. To prevent the colony's contamination, Mother Sphere destroyed the orbit ring and with it 30 of its space modules. The remnants of the orbit ring fell to the ground, causing a catastrophic wave that swept the Earth. Civilization as we know it came to an end. Look around you, a planet where only Natibas remain. Remember, at the beginning and the end of the final war is Mother Sphere. Do not forget, we were just pawns on a twisted chessboard. Impossible. Raven is delusional. It's the Natiba's fault the Earth is in ruins. We're not just machines someone created. Right? Eve, please tell me I'm right. Also here. Raven. Eve. Hmm. I knew from the very beginning that all along I was nothing but a tool to guide you to him. Even the legacies I left behind became part of the plan. I should congratulate you for realizing the truth and making it this far. <laughs> of course. You won't be able to see him. Shut up! Don't you dare talk about truth after what you did to Taki! Can't you see? It was Mother Spear who deceived us. You would have remained ignorant if not for him. I served him for a very long time. I know him better than anyone. You don't know anything. You don't know his pain, his anger, his agony. All this talk of you being the chosen one, it ends here. Lily, I want you to stay back this time. This is my battle. <laughs> Lily. 
can't believe I have to find him this form. Nobody ever sees the one I'm created by Mother Spear. But, for him. Spoken truth you don't dare acknowledge. <laughs> Do you think you're just going to complete your mission and head back to the colony? A hero. Unfortunately, you've learned too much. You can't be manipulated anymore. And the information you've gained is no use to Mother Spear or the colony. You will be discarded just like they were during the colony extinction. Like trash!
You did it, Eve. Well done. Why are you hesitating? Because we were comrades? Or because I'm human like you? Except you don't believe we're human. <laughs> Your mainframe's nerve fibers and exospine have all been severed. So now, you won't be able to fight. You... You've taken so much from me. In exchange, I'll allow you to witness the end. In that state. Huh? What? What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Who do you think you are? You don't know anything. Kill me! Go ahead and kill me! I wouldn't be your first. Lily, let's go. Eve, stop right there! Finish this! Eve! Eve! Tebas are born. Although... Everything looks so natural. It makes me wonder... Is this how real life is born, after all? Isn't the Elder at the end of this path? Too quiet. Strangely peaceful. The Elder must already know that we're here. It's watching us. From where, I don't know.
see any nativas on the road. It's like someone wants this place to remain undisturbed. Raven probably set it up. I suspect it hasn't been used since she met the Elder, and changed. Thank goodness it's working. Yes. I'm also getting the feeling that it's our last camp. I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades! The people of Zion who trusted you! Tell me why they had to die! Eve... You... You have every right to be mad. I understand. Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First... I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Then you threw us out into space! 
Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this gruesome slaughter? Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean... Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve. I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... Sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Of our existence is to eliminate the Elder Natiba and save mankind. Natiba or Andro Ados, is one more human than the other? If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But. but. If 
there is a way to save both species. I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes. So do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future. Now. Yes. Are you Eve? Yes. Well, it's hard to describe, but... Lily, I am the Eve you remember. I was worried that you would become someone I didn't know. Lily. Connection to the colony. Sending protocol. Sensing from native signals nearby. Switching to combat mode.
Right. Eve, I thought I'd be left alone. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm still not used to the new look. Still, I'll get used to it one day, right? Yes, Lily. I'm sure you will. Oh, too many things happened today. Yes. And even more awaits us. Let's return to the Tetrapod. Reflecting on satellites. Predicting the future. It's like trying to find one single star in the endless sky. I serve the future of mankind. Though whether that future would embrace me, I cannot say. But, for the sake of Father, I refuse to give up. The one who gave birth to me, taught me, the one who's no more. Yes, I must confirm if you are, in fact, that future. Mother... Sphere? Nice to meet you, Eve and Lily. You have more then met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes. But, thank you. 
What are you... What are you talking about? This concludes the EVE Protocol. Stay back. So this is your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. Now.
you.